Boah! Actually, sounds kind of cool. Hey, what's up, you guys? Charlie here from MA Performance. In our last few videos, we asked for some recommendations on what you'd like to see next in the comment section. Overall, we received a ton of feedback. So this week, we're coming to you guys with a top five best-selling catback exhaust video, but this time, we're talking about the Gen X Honda Civic. So the year was 2001. My friends and I were lining our belts with M&Ms and Mountain Dew in my mom's Suburban in preparation to witness a movie that would influence the rest of our lives. Minutes later, we sat there with our jaws on the floor as Dominus crew shifted into what seemed like 12th gear in their Honda Civics with that signature green underglow. Needless to say, we were hooked. Unable to drive for the next few years, we waited before we could actually pick up our own cars. And what did we buy? You guessed it, Honda Civics. However, the 10th gen Honda Civic that we're talking about today has a bit more refinement than they did back then. Our old rust buckets with fart cans barely hold a candle to the newest generation of Civics. And not to mention, many of our customers using MA Performance have actually been able to make these four cylinder cars pretty damn fast. Now, we all know some V8 guy that got gapped by a random boosted four banger. Now, in every previous model, Civics came without turbos. So it was exciting to see this car come boosted from the factory. Now, as most of us know, the factory exhaust restrictions are a major limiting factor when it comes to increasing your boosted car's performance. As mentioned in our previous exhaust videos, it's worth noting that an exhaust actually works as a horsepower multiplier. With that being said, we're frequently asked how much power an exhaust will add to your car. Now, with this lineup of exhausts that we're talking about today, if your car is pushing close to factory horsepower numbers, then the gains you could expect to see with any of these exhausts would be in that five to 10 horsepower range. However, if you're doubling the numbers from the factory, then the horsepower gains that you would expect would be significantly more. Now we're not giving you these exhausts in any specific order, but each one of them has their own defining characteristics. So stick around to the end because you don't want to miss out on hearing about any of them. Now the very first exhaust on our list is our very own MA Performance catback exhaust like this one here. It's weighing in at 32 pounds, made of a 304 stainless steel, and it's coming in at a price starting at $734.99. Now with this exhaust, it's important to note that it is available with either a stealth, street, or race muffler, each with their own different weights, prices, and obviously sounds. To check out all the details of these variants, click the link in our description and check it out for yourself. Now, before we jump in and hear how this exhaust sounds, let's check out the pros and cons. Let's go ahead and jump on in and check out how this exhaust sounds. All right, you guys, so let's dive in and check out some key takeaways. With this exhaust, it's definitely a big bang for your buck. It's a very high quality sound, and being that it's offered in so many varieties, makes it a very attractive exhaust to a wide variety of enthusiasts.
Now the second exhaust on this lineup is the Gretti Supreme SP exhaust. Now the weight of this exhaust has yet to be announced by Gretti. We haven't taken it out and weighed it yet, um, but it is made of a 304 stainless steel material and it's coming in at 722. Let's go ahead and outline some of the pros and cons of the Gretti exhaust. Now pros is that it does have a very low growling sound, which is obviously very attractive. Very little to no drone uh, at highway speeds, and obviously it is pretty cost effective. The only cons to this exhaust are that it's not super loud, so if you were looking for something that's really gonna ramp up the volume, definitely not gonna be your choice. All right, you guys, so let's jump in and see how it sounds. you guys key takeaways on this is that it is a great high quality sounding exhaust that definitely won't upset your neighbors when you start it up it's very comfortable for daily driving and makes the car sound much better than it does with that stock hdmi looking input exhaust that comes from the factory all right you guys let's go ahead and check out the third exhaust on the list that's the nvidia gemini catback with titanium burnt tips. This one's weighing in at 58 pounds, made of a 304 stainless steel material, obviously with the titanium tips, and it's coming in at a price of 816.20. Now, again, before we dive in to check this exhaust out and hear how it sounds, let's go ahead and list out those pros and cons once again. All right, you guys, so pros, again, this one also has a very low growling sound. Sounds great. It is full of character, the pops and burbles are amazing, um, and it does also come with that titanium tip option. Now the only cons that we could come up with this is that it does sound very similar to the Gretti exhaust that we looked at before, and it is a little bit more expensive than that one, so if you were looking for something that would differentiate it between a cheaper, more cost-effective exhaust, then this probably wouldn't be your first pick. All right, you guys, so let's jump in and see how it sounds. All right, you guys, so key takeaways on this one is that again, it is another high quality, low tone exhaust. If it's been a while since you looked into some of the Civic exhaust options like myself, then I'm sure you're happily surprised to find out that these don't sound like a bunch of pissed off bees in a tin can anymore. They actually sound very quality. All right, you guys, so the number four on our list is the HKS High Power Muffler. Now we have the shipping weight on this one coming in at 40.4 pounds. Again, a 304 stainless steel material exhaust. And this one's coming in at a price of 980 bucks. Now the pros and cons of this exhaust is that it has an amazing sound quality. And in comparison then to some of the other exhausts that we've looked at, it is relatively lightweight as well. If you take out some of that shipping material, it's probably gonna weigh in right around the 30 pound marker. Now the only cons to this exhaust is that it is slightly more expensive than some of the other options in our top five. So if you're on a budget, you might not be able to spring for the HKS exhaust, which is okay, because there's obviously some other great options coming in at lower price points. Now let's dive in and see how this exhaust sounds. All right, you guys, so key takeaways on this exhaust, in three words, worth every penny. One, two, three. All right, now it has a low growling sound that still sounds aggressive, but kind of like a low growl with a quality rasp to it. It's just as aggressive as you're looking for. All 
right, you guys, let's move into our fifth and final exhaust on the list, and that is the Remark Catback Exhaust. Now, this one, again, our shipping weight is coming in at 89 pounds, which is, let's be honest, pretty high. Uh, realistically, I'd probably expect this one to land right around that 55 pound marker uh, when you take into consideration all the packing materials. Now this exhaust is made of a 304 stainless steel material and it's coming in at a price of $612.75. Now before we dive in and we hear how this exhaust sounds, let's review some of the pros and cons so you know what to expect. Overall, it sounds great. It's amazing for daily driving. And in addition to that, it's one of the most affordable on the market and definitely the most affordable in our top five. Now, the only cons to this exhaust is that for my taste, it is a little bit too quiet. So this probably wouldn't be my choice, but again, I personally look for something slightly more aggressive than this. But let's go ahead and hear how it sounds. All right, you guys, so key takeaways on the Remark Catback exhaust is that obviously it's very cost effective. And it sounds like the perfect exhaust for someone who's looking for a minor increase in sound over the stock exhaust. And it'll for sure make driving way more fun and it's definitely gonna be lighter than the stock exhaust. And again, it does sound great. So for someone like that, the perfect exhaust for you. Now that you have all the information, which exhaust do you think that you'd use on your car? Also, let us know what you want us to cover next. You can let us know in the comments down below. And if you guys like this kind of content from us, let us know by leaving us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos just like this one. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. We'll see you in the next one.